Now we have another interesting problem here. We have given this block diagram and we have to find the transfer function of this system that is C by R. So uh, now what I can now what we can do here C uh, first the problem is here I have G2 here. I can multiply this G1 into G2. What problem we have this with G4 and another thing is I can multiply, I can uh, solve it this position here this G2, I can do something with G2 and G4 but the problem is with this takeoff point so let's do one thing let's move this takeoff point from here to here so by that what we will get G2 and G4 will be in series or uh, in parallel so their combined gain will be the addition of these two and the another advantage we will get by shifting this takeoff point from here to here is now uh, G1 and H1, the H G1 block and this one, this block will form a feedback loop. So we will solve it. Okay. And another thing I can do here, yeah, this is a very straightforward G3 and H2. I can make a complete uh, transfer function for this G3 and H2 easily. So let's redraw it. Uh, but keeping in uh, keeping this thing in mind, like if I will shift this takeoff point from here to here. So uh, I'm shifting this takeoff point from here to here. So this point is getting multiplied by G2 here. But if I will shift it here, then no longer it will get multiplied by G2. So what I will do? I will make this H1 as H1 G2. Right? Okay. And then uh, G2 and G4 will be in parallel. Okay. Now I will redraw it. So I have R here. I have this plus minus. Uh, then I have again uh, some amplifier then I have G1 is there and I have shifted this takeoff point now this one is plus sign this one is minus sign and uh, this one is G2 so now takeoff point is here and it will become H1 G2 Okay, from H1, G2 and this G4 is now parallel to this system. Here it is also a plus sign and I have G3 here, this is C, this is H2 here. Okay, now I think we can easily do it. This one is uh, H3. Now uh, let's solve it further. So first thing is now this one has uh, these two are uh, in a feedback loop system now, so, and we will add this G2 plus G4. So we, uh, this one is negative feedback. So I will redraw uh, redraw this. So this one is plus, this one is minus, and the combine of this G1 and H1 G2 will be a block diagram. Has G1 1 plus plus G1 into G2 and H1. Okay. Now this G2 and G4 can be added, and we have a block diagram with G2 plus G4. Right? And I have this G3 and H2. Now they are in feedback system, so I can write here G3 divided by 1 plus because here it is a negative, it is H2 G3. This one is C.
and I have this uh, feedback system which has gain of H3 and it is going here and it is coming to this position minus. Now uh, it is very simple now these two are in series these three are in series we can multiply this and we have this feedback system. So uh, this will be a single block and this one is S3. So the answer will be the G divided by 1 plus GH plus because here it is negative. So answer will, uh, will be G1 1 plus G1 G2 H1 then we have G2 plus G4 then we have G3 and 1 plus H2 G3 then we have 1 plus then again this term G term G1 G2 plus G4 G3 and I have uh, 1 plus G1 G2 H1 1 plus H2 H3 multiply by this term H3 so let's solve it further this term will go here and this term will come also in numerator so this these two term will cancel this uh, denominator will be cancelled so it will be g1 g2 plus g4 then i have g3 then i have 1 plus g1 g2 h1 1 plus h2 h3 plus this term g3 h3 and g1 and g2 plus g4 so this will be my output c by r transfer function for this system wait 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 i have done some mistake here so first of all here i have a bracket here 1 plus g1 g2 h1 so it will come here also 1 plus g1 g2 h1 and i think another problem is h2 h3 sorry it is actually h2 g3 so it is not h here it is g here so i have here here also h2 g3 is there so this will be the my final answer g1 g2 plus g4 g3 then i have uh, one bracket open then 1 plus g1 g2 h1 then 1 plus h2 g3 plus g3 h3 g1 and then g2 plus g4 so this will be the my final transfer function